Hi, everyone, and welcome to this bonus edition of Living <laughs> Phase 2. That's right. Today, we actually stop and take a tour of a city that was not on our original itinerary because of a, a lot of changes that have happened in our world cruise. Welcome to Living Phase 2. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Nancy. And we're empty nesters striving to live life to the fullest. And we're living that full life aboard Royal Caribbean's nine-month ultimate world cruise. We sure are. Now, as Mike said, there were, have been a lot of changes to our itinerary here. And this is because we were unable to visit Machu Picchu. And you can see that on our previous video mm -hmm. video so if you haven't watched that be sure to go back and see, see all the excitement that we had there mm -hmm. in our visit to Cusco but yeah. now we're in Lima that's right so what had happened is uh, we were originally scheduled to stay in Lima Peru for two days we were going to meet back up with the ship after flying from Cusco Peru mm -hmm. however uh, Royal Caribbean has also determined that we really that they don't want us to stop in Ecuador. Right. There's a lot of political and, and unrest. crime unrest. And so they just don't want to take the chance. But in addition to that, what they've done. So they added a day in Lima. And now we're all flying back. And because we didn't get to ma visit Machu Picchu, they're actually adding a whole nother tour for us, complimentary, um, to kind of help salve the wound, I guess you could say, <laughs> of not getting to see Machu Picchu. It was really nice. Yes, yes. Yep. So within 24 hours, Royal Caribbean planned an entire set uh, or whole new excursion for us 600 people coming back from Machu Picchu. So what we did is we flew into Lima, landed, and uh, got driven back to the port, which took quite a while. It took almost two hours. Hour. Well, it was almost two hours by the time we got from the airport, waited on the bus, got back to the ship. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we really had time to grab a very uh, quick snack for lunch and then right back out onto the buses. And then back into uh, Lima. Mm -hmm. And the first thing uh, the, was we got on a tour bus in the first place then that they took us was the uh, kissing statue. Mm -hmm. The love the, beach. The love love beach. park. Love park. Yes. Yeah. So it's one of those kind of really famous tourist places mm -hmm. in Lima. And uh, um, I thought the interesting thing was that it's a, uh, the uh, statue, the people in the statue actually is the artist. It is. Victor Delphin is the artist and the statue is of him and his wife. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Sitting on the grass, yeah, sharing a kiss. And it's become extremely famous. And in fact, our guide said that uh, most of the artwork you see around Lima, if you see different, you know, more modern statues, it's probably his work um, that you're seeing. So, yep, that's become a real popular stop for people. And of course, we had to stop. Yes. And there was a bunch of locks. So people would, would um, you know, would write their wish or, or say their wish of, of mm -hmm. someone that they love. Mm -hmm. And they would they would lock uh, uh -huh. A little, little vendor, lock, little padlock. Yeah, little, little vendors lock. going around selling the locks. Yes. So if you wanted to lock your love on their their fence, there, you know, I thought that was, you know, kind of taken from the original where they used to do that over the the bridge over the Seine in Paris. But mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, the I mean, it was a it was a nice stop. The sculpture is actually very it nice. Pretty, yeah, yeah, nice park. Um, after that, what they did is they took us to a shopping mall, which is interesting. You know, I'm not usually a shopping person, um, but. It was actually kind of nice after kind of some commando touring and being up in Cusco and doing all this to just have a minute that if we needed to pick anything up for the world cruise to have a place to go to do right. it. Right. This was a very Americanized shopping mall, uh, Larcomar. Mm -hmm. And so they had... Um, stores you know that we'd be very familiar with like um banana, banana republic, republic and, and sketchers you know, and all all of those h&m mm -hmm. yeah uh so stores that you're familiar with mm -hmm. i was able to grab a top while i was there and mm -hmm. um that was yeah. that was a, a it was a, a good, good stop. stop just kind of a, yeah. it wasn't you know we try to really focus when we go on these tours about the historical the cultural the people and it was actually kind of nice just for a minute to to just walk around a mall for a little you know get a little it's almost a little bit i guess a normalcy you know, right back into life so well after the uh after the mall we went to the water circuit at reserve park mm -hmm. and this was really neat there were so many fountains mm -hmm. and um attractions and we got to see a water show so many families this actually is the second most visited attraction next to machu Picchu in all of peru, all of peru. yeah and i can and see why I, it was a wonderful park it, and it was 
full, full, full of people. So before mm -hmm. you even enter into the park, there are many, many vendors selling popcorn and balloons mm -hmm. and uh, glow necklaces and it was almost like at things. Disney where they're selling all that stuff on Main Street. For the yeah, state park. Well, state, state well, fair. Yeah, state, state fair. fair. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Right. But that was I enjoyed that thoroughly. Um, because the park isn't really just a tourist attraction. It truly is where the people of Lima go with their families to have a nice evening, to really enjoy um, their time out. This time of year, remember, we're in the Southern Hemisphere. So this time of year is summer, um, summer for them. Their mm -hmm. kids are on summer break. So all the families out playing in the water. And oh, it was it was really yeah. neat to see. And the water show was very good. Right. And it only costs them like the nest. Less than $2. Like fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Just to get, to get mm -hmm. in. So we saw all the beautiful fountains and we were even able to run through one of the fountains that were these big arches and we were able to run through the middle of it, which mm -hmm. you can see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after that, that's when the water show started and it had uh, it had some of the water projection technology like we'd seen at Disney California Adventure or some of their their shows uh, had lasers, had um, all kinds of fountains. Uh, it was really a nice show. Uh, they say the show switches every two to three weeks and it has a different theme and it's constantly changing. Um, but no, I enjoyed it a lot. Right. That was a nice, really nice treat by Royal Caribbean to get us over there to see the show. The show uh -huh. is about the, the history of the Incas or the history history of Peru and mm -hmm. how uh, the the Spaniards came over and conquered the Incas and then just kind of its development mm -hmm. through time. Yeah, yeah, no, it was very good. So then we walked out of the park and then they got us back on the buses and they took us to a very nice meal. It was it's been one of our favorite meals. I it think, that we has had. been mm -hmm. one of our favorite meal was at restaurant boulevard and it was a family style meal and they brought out many local dishes mm -hmm. and some of our personal or some of my personal yeah. favorite was i love the ceviche was, that, that came out mine too that was really um, good mm -hmm. potatoes are very packed just Fun fact here, uh, Peru grows over 3,800 varieties of potatoes. So, of course, you have potatoes at every meal. A lot of mm. potato mm -hmm. dishes. Yeah. Uh, they also grow a, a large variety of corn. Like over 700 varieties of corn. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. you also get a lot of corn uh, uh -huh. with your meals, which is mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but we, so we had the fish. We also had chicken dishes. Beef, the beef or... was really good. Yes, the it beef was. Dish that they had mm -hmm. was was delicious and then of course dessert came it did so we had a couple of dessert dishes one was rice pudding and they had made a syrup to go on top of it out of using the blue corn mm -hmm. and uh some sort of a fruit which was plum like yeah um that was quite quite tasty on mm -hmm. top of the rice pudding the other thing we had were donuts and the donuts were made from squash mm -hmm. So, and they had put then um, a molasses over mm -hmm. the top of the donuts. Mm -hmm. Well, after dessert wrapped up, we all walked back to our buses and it was, as you can imagine, very late at night now. We were getting so tired. We'd had yeah. three solid days of touring. Um, yeah, we didn't get back to the ship until about 1130 at night. Um, they got us on board and uh, we left uh, Lima at 9 a.m. the next morning. And now we had two sea days since, mm -hmm. uh, as we mentioned, Ecuador, that uh, port stop was canceled and they had shifted things. Um, we got two two nice relaxing sea days to recover from all that touring the last few days. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, a friend of mine reached out uh, that, that's here on the ship and she said, Nancy, I'm taking a jewelry making class. It's a sea day. So would you like to take it with me? And I'm sure I would. So we, we made um, a bracelet and a necklace and that was, that was fun. Here, I'll mm -hmm. show, you, show you the bracelet here. Mm -hmm. And what's really sweet. Look at that. There's a little, a little tiny Royal anchor mm -hmm. there that you can mm -hmm. see. And then um, maybe a <clears throat> matching necklace to go with it. So that, that was a fun um, activity to do in the morning. We had lunch and then we did something else fun in the afternoon. That's right. We did a crime mystery puzzle challenge. It was uh, called a Royal Puzzle or Royal Mystery. That was a lot of fun. It was that, kind of a pseudo escape room kind of, you know, but it was, you know, it was all through clues. And yeah, it was a yeah, lot of fun. Six we did... of us that did that. Mm -hmm. And guess who were the winners? 
we no, we were. <laughs> so we did and a couple of uh, nice royal water bottles. Yes. So these will come in handy for when we're on our excursions. Sometimes the water bottles we take along, um, they can have a tendency to leak. Yeah, you know, they... yeah. So now we can use these reusable yeah, ones and take them on a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was a lot of fun. We it did was. that. Well, after the royal mystery, what did we do then, hon? Well, uh, we had dinner, and uh, then we, we kind of split apart here. Oh, we've broke up. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the headline show with uh, some of the girls, to Veronica Ferriani. She was a singer. Uh, she had quite a, a nice variety of, of songs. Mm -hmm. And you went to the... The British pub, yep. Yeah. Went with some of the guys, and we um, sat and just uh, chatted. We played some darts, and... Uh, um, I won't uh, rub in who won darts or anything like that, but you can see uh, obviously the last shot of the game here. No. <laughs> no, we had a lot of fun, and that's really nice when you can just get together with some friends and yeah. you know and go out and and, and we've uh, made such good friends mm -hmm. on the ship. We really yeah. have. Yeah, so. and so then after that, we uh, went to bed and we had another sea day the we, next day. We did have mm -hmm. another sea day. This sea day was relatively um, routine. Uh -huh. We went to an enrichment lecture on Punta Arenas, which yeah. was the next port. Mm -hmm coming up yeah so that that was good kind of give us, us an idea prepared for mm -hmm. that well after the enrichment lecture later in the day we uh we usually get together for a little happy hour we meet about an hour before dinner usually with our friends it lets us gather and kind of get together um talk about what we did during the day that's always a really really nice time to catch up with friends uh we had dinner and then we went to ron lucas right he's the ventriloquist he's actually uh quite famous. I mean, he has done his shows for presidents and for the queen, and he's been mm -hmm. on many television shows, mm -hmm. and he was wonderful. Oh, yeah, just hilarious. Wonderful. He did a great job with that. Hey, Turkey, who's the redneck? You called me a redneck when I looked away. No, I heard it. You heard the mic. But the mic is heckling you, so I say hi to the mic. Maybe he'll talk to you. He won't talk to me. Mike, say hello. Hello. Well, after the Ron Lucas show, we kind of went back to the room and hit the rack because we have something going on tomorrow. But so that you see that, be sure to reach down and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. We sure appreciate everyone that subscribed yes. to our channel. And if you found this video fun and entertaining, hit the like button. We uh, we know that. And also leave us a comment. You know, we like to hear from uh, everyone who's watching our videos. We love that. We try to answer every one of them. So thank you for that. Uh, so tomorrow, Punta Arenas and... Uh, you know, you're going to have to watch tomorrow because we really, and this this one's a little serious. Yeah. We are fighting off some heat exhaustion. So you're going to have to tune into that one to take a look at it. So, well, thank you very much for watching our Lima adventure here. We appreciate all of you and we hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye, friend. Bye-bye now.